Just a few hours are remaining for Chandrayaan 3's historic landing on the moon. But will it be an easy task for ISRO to conduct the touchdown on the lunar surface? We'll tell you what exactly is a soft landing and why it's so important for the mission. Let's take a look at how Chandrayaan 3 will reach the moon. It has adopted a gradual trajectory rather than the direct translunar injection used by the Apollo missions. Developed by India Space Agency, the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO, Chandrayaan-3 includes an orbiter, lander module named Vikram, which means valor in Sanskrit, and a rover named Pragyan, the Sanskrit word for wisdom. The lander Vikram weighs about 1,500 kilograms and carries in its belly the 26 kilogram rover named Pragyan. The lander is equipped with advanced technology to ensure proper soft landing. If the landing is successful, the rover will roll off Vikram to explore the nearby lunar area, collect data and conduct a series of scientific experiments. The gathered images will then be sent back to Earth for analysis. The mission comes with a price tag of $74.6 million, way below that of other countries. It's a testament to India's frugal space engineering. The term soft landing is frequently used when it comes to space exploration. What is a soft landing? And what does it take to soft land on the moon? Let's find out. A soft landing refers to a successful landing of a spacecraft without it suffering any significant damage to either itself or its payload. So a soft landing goes like this. After the lander separates from the propulsion module, it enters a 100 km into 30 km orbit. This means the farthest it will be from the moon is 100 kilometers and the closest is 30 kilometers. At around 30 kilometer altitude, the lander begins to use its thrusters to navigate down to the surface. At around 100 meters altitude, the lander would scan the surface for obstacles. If there are no obstacles, it would begin a slow descent, firing its thrusters until touchdown. In contrast to that, a hard landing often results in considerable damage to the landing vehicle and may render the mission a failure owing to damage of scientific instruments and equipment. 